Today is Friday the 24th of February and we're at Whangarei Intermediate School. I'm Garth Rudder, the teacher librarian at Whangarei Intermediate and what a great idea this would be to promote financial lit uh, literacy in our school. A uh, bit of corporate sponsorship for this wonderful resource uh, for our kids. Here we are today at Whangarei Primary School. Hi, I'm Rob Saw, principal of Whangarei Primary School. Been here at Whangarei Primary for seven years. And um, we've just had this visit today with uh, 13 Habits and had a look at the books and certainly think they have merit and um, would love to have them in our school if uh, a sponsor was able to support this venture. It uh, certainly would be well accepted by many schools and certainly by ours um, to help children become um, literate in, in this area that uh, these books are about financial literacy. <laughs> Yeah. I just, when I was riding my bike down Nonima Beach, I was thinking that it would be just really amazing to do a book together with the children at Carmo Intermediate School. So I was just talking to Renee about it um, in the classroom just 15, 20 minutes ago, and she says, Oh, Billy. And I said, Oh, yeah, I want to talk to Olivia because I remembered from last time that you weren't like riding. And then. Olivia mentioned Blaze. So here we are now. And it's just about working together as a team cooperatively. And I've got all these books I've already created that you can look at and look at the habits. I still think the most important habits are reading and thinking. And what Mr. Munger says, now like Mr. Munger is Warren's best sort of friend advisor. He's even smarter than he is. And he's even older. He's sort of the senior partner of the partnership. And Mr. Munger says the secret to success is to avoid failure. So on the one side, we need the Kiori, you know, going down the casino, gambling all his money, buying lotto tickets, or forever dreaming that he's going to win big. And he's drinking tequila and he's smoking marijuana cigars and, you know and he's totally off his rocker the kiori and he's he's so the kiori's got these bad habits and the tuatara because he's lives a couple of hundred years he's got these slow and steady habits yeah and so he saves his money and he's working hard and he's mowing lawns and he's delivering newspapers and doing sausage sizzles and what were the other things, Olivia? What else can we do to raise money? Yeah, he's running garage sales and so he's got all these ways of making money, the Tuatara, and he's consistently saving 10% of his money. And whereas the Kiori, he reckons he's going to win out big at the casino and as he's going down there he's got this big marijuana cigar, you know? And of course he drinks tequila in the casino. And so we've got good habits versus bad habits and we just see where that leads, that story. Do you like that? The yeah. contrast to that? And so how do we bring the petrol into it and what... Because the petrol is the roommate of the Tuatara, of course. At uh, Carmo Intermediate, and I've got Olivia Harvey, Blaze, and I've got Billy here. And we're just having a little chit chat because we want to write a new story, and we're talking about a Tuatara and a Kiori. Oh. What are the 13 habits? That's a good question. Well, the first habit is actually integrity, and that starts with the inner scorecard. Do you understand inner scorecard? That's what's in your heart and mind. So having integrity to yourself by not just going to do a job that you don't like or is by finding your passion you have integrity to yourself. 
And that's the first habit is integrity. What does integrity mean? Integrity, what does it mean? Has anyone got any ideas what integrity means? Honesty. Being honest with yourself. So having an internal scorecard saying, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, it matters what I think. So being honest with yourself and saying, yes, I'm going to go after my dream, my uh, passion. Number one financial institution in New Zealand. <coughs> Uh, last year, they, in New Zealand, they made over $800 million profit. And with partners like the banks on board, we can make this dream come true. I um, think that it's important to write down your passion and to just go for it and try your hardest to reach that passion and get there. Do you have a passion right now? Something you'd really like to achieve in your life? I really want to be a photographer. Hi, I'm Billy Scott. Um, I go to Kano Intermediate School. I, I'm very passionate about nature and photography and writing stories. And yeah, when I grow up, I really want to be a photojournalist. Um, I think what we all learnt today is really great steps and long life lessons that we'll really need when we want to stick to what we're passionate about and really that you've just got to stick to your goals of what you really love and yeah. Hi, I'm Maddie and I go to Kama Intermediate School. Today I learnt that you've just got to follow your passion and do what you're passionate about. And when I'm older I want to be a woman's black stick and I want to, yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Dave Palmer. I'd just uh, like to thank uh, Lucas for, for coming in again. We've been working with Lucas over the last couple of years on the 13 habits and um, it was a good afternoon this afternoon talking about the, uh, some of the rules and the good habits that you need to make uh, through life. And um, yeah, with the 100 or so students we've got in Nika and the 600 in the school, it'll be, uh, be great to, for the kids to get their books. Uh, their own books, their own copy that they could treasure um, about some of the life skills that uh, they can learn along their journey of, of, of life and financial literacy. So uh, best of luck, Lucas, with your uh, rest of your travels um, from here down to Bluff. And um, yeah, hopefully anyone out there who's keen on some sponsorship, um, we'd love, love to see all the kids here go away with a book that they can look after and treasure. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Renee Proctor and this is my ninth year teaching at Carmel Media. together and we were asked and the children to participate in um, helping to create a book um, and the kids loved it, we loved it and um, now being able to see it in print is really, really fun for them and quite an uh, inspiration. Um, we would now really love some sponsorship so that every child in our school can have a copy of a new novel that's coming out and, um, and some for our library, um, just to help us out with our financial literacy program, which I think is very important, especially children at this age.